Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action for Monday, July 6, 2020, 4.20 p.m. And we are closed for the day on the markets. And I just want to go over a couple things. Hope everyone had a good July 4th weekend. Nice weather, all that good stuff. Stayed healthy. Social distant and wore their mask. It's becoming quite difficult to wear a mask and not wear a mask and people looking at you or you're looking at them it's it's creating a divide um don't want to get into that but wouldn't we all just want to wear a mask so we can get through this and not even have to think about it anymore versus having to go back into in a quarantine state i'm just gonna say it once why not just wear the damn mask and suck it up and hopefully we can get through this and move on with our normal lives because Everything is difficult right now. So anyway, that sums up that moment. Let's get into the market. So the SPY, okay, so it gapped up pretty strong for a Monday. I mean, we're talking highs. We're talking highs for plenty of stocks like Amazon, Apple. All these guys are making crazy highs. SPY coming up to where it was in June again. Uh, a couple gap ups. Could get to the 320 level tomorrow. Um, you know. Stocks like Tesla and all these other guys just making huge headways. And, you know, this is the time to kind of hold on and let the stocks run. You just think you just don't know if the spy is going to flip or the markets are going to flip on you. Um, you can pretty much buy at the beginning and get some nice trades. Uh, I just not what I'm doing. So that's not my process. But look at this. We gapped up. And we just chopped all day. No movement from 315, 360 or 315.50 to 316.90. I mean, that's a, just a choppy day. But things did set up along the way. This AYRO, I was looking at a two-minute chart. Um, got in in this in this mix here when it broke this level here, and I didn't give it enough room. And I took like a hundred dollar loss to start the day. Pretty frustrating because I was in for a pretty strong amount of shares. And it was the type of thing where I knew I needed to give it like 20 cents. Um, maybe not that much, maybe 15 cents. And the thing just skyrocketed to eight bucks. I mean, this was a monster trade. Uh, I had the right idea. I just didn't give it the move, the room it needed to make that move. And um, it was unfortunate because it was just a bad start. And then around this time, it came out with some news of an offering. And people who were long on it got pretty hammered here for, for like at seven bucks down to 5.30. So that was pretty painful for some. Um, a couple stocks that we I did trade. We were at a mentoring session this week, so it's been pretty good. Um, these were kind of, I looked, I looked at OSTK. It's the one I liked really a lot at 30, the 37 level here. Uh, broke the 37.05 here, so I was looking for the secondary move, and here it did it, and uh, ran all the way up to almost 40 bucks at 39.93. So a three dollar move there, um, pretty solid. That LMND, which is an IPO, you can see it's only been open for two days trading. Um, set up real nice as well. I took a quick trade on it here on the break of the what was it 84 level? Let's see, 83 level. So once it broke the 83 level on this candle, it ran up to 96 dollars, and I took like. I just had 100 shares and I took like two bucks off of it real quick. And it ran another like six, or I'm sorry, another like 10 bucks. I mean, it was crazy. It was just, it just ran. I mean, this is the type of thing. This is the trade you wish you took like max shares. And in like 10 minutes, you could be up 10, 20 grand. I mean, it was just a monster trade. Um, but that, you know, that happens. You know, that was a good trade. That was a good setup. Um, I wasn't really looking at too much Tesla today, just making all-time highs again. I mean, look at this. In the last five days, it's gone from 1,000 to 1,371. And uh, I took the break here. You can see this trade here. The high of 1,308, 1,309.75. I took the break here at the 1,309 level. And right now, I got like 1,316, I think. From 1309 on like 10 shares maybe so that was a nice trade um just but look it can it did drop down below that level that 1309 level we can see it's at 1308 so i probably would have been stopped out there but if you bought here okay i'm gonna buy at the opening and look what happened 
I mean, you're right at the opening here, and even though it gapped up, we're talking 1281, it ran to almost 1381. I mean, 1377, almost 100 points. It's just, just crazy moves, crazy moves on these stocks. Um, I did take a Beyond trade. I took some money off that too, I think. 88 bucks. It was a nice little move on that one after it got hammered here and then broke I th the high here, the red red candle here. Not not this move here. Um, I think I took the secondary move. So it was a nice little trade, maybe some money and, um, you know, a decent day today, $178. I took a couple other minor ones that were losses and gains. and um, But overall, it was, it was good, and I'm happy that I ended the day on the green side. So we'll go with that. And it's Monday, so that's good. You know, after a long weekend and getting everything back in the groove. So um, we'll get back to it Tuesday, still in the mentoring sessions. Just taking my time, I think, in the morning, especially on a gap up like that. Don't want to force anything. I think the first trade or two, I, I think I take that SHLL. I jumped in early. That was the one that I lost on early. Um, I thought I was going to break here and turn around and flip down on me. Um, so that kind of hurt. That hurt pretty good. And uh, those between that and the other trade, that kind of that's why I didn't have like a five hundred dollar day, a hundred one hundred seventy eight dollar day. So uh, I forgot about the SHLL. Another EV trader, uh, electronic vehicle. It's up there with NKLA and all those other guys. And, um, you know, there's definitely going to be trades tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. And you guys have a great night. Make sure you subscribe, like the channel, or I should say like the video. And let me know if you have any questions. So have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon.